Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. In the name of Christ who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father, grace, mercy and peace be with you. We meet this day to remember before God His Royal Highness Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, to renew our trust and confidence in Christ, and to pray that together we may be one in him, through whom we offer our prayers and praises to the Father. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord our God, lover of souls. You uphold us in life and sustain us in death. To you be glory and praise forever. For the darkness of this age is passing away as Christ the bright and morning star brings to his saints the light of life. As you give light to those in darkness who walk in the shadow of death, so remember in your kingdom your faithful servant Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, that death may be for him the gate to life and to unending fellowship with you, where with your saints you live and reign, one in the perfect union of love, now and forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, 
See, I am making all things new. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and there shall no torment touch them. You, Lord, have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. A reading from St. Columba. Alone with none but thee, my God, I journey on my way. What need I fear when thou art near, O King of night and day? More safe am I within thy hand than if a host did round me stand. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Maker and Redeemer, grant us with your servant Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and all the faithful departed, the sure benefits of your Son's saving passion and glorious resurrection, that in the last day, when you gather up all things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies and giver of all comfort, deal graciously, we pray, with all who mourn, the members of the royal family, this nation, and all the nations of the Commonwealth that casting all our care upon you, we may know the consolation of your love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Bring us, O Lord God, at our last awakening into the house and gate of heaven, to enter into that gate and dwell in that house, where there shall be no darkness nor dazzling, but one equal light, no noise nor silence, but one equal music, no fears nor hopes, but one equal possession, no ends nor beginnings, but one equal eternity in the habitations of thy glory and dominion, world without end. Amen. Into your hands, O Father and Lord, we commend your servant Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Enlighten him with your holy grace and suffer him never to be separated from you, O Lord in Trinity, God everlasting.
May God, in his mercy, grant us, with all the faithful departed, rest and peace. Amen. We bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, in his infinite love and mercy, bring the whole church, living and departed, to a joyful resurrection and the fulfilment of his eternal kingdom, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen.